This case study of a visual inspection process improvement project at a forged metal part manufacturer is brought to you by JMC Data Experts. Hitchener Manufacturing uses visual inspection at several steps of their process to produce high-end castings for applications such as ping golf clubs or rocker arms for BMW engines. As found with nearly all inspection processes with tight specifications, they were losing production for defects that could not be reworked. In addition, defects at the customer were high and reject rates varied greatly from shift to shift and inspector to inspector. The quality department wanted to improve the consistency and accuracy of their inspection process so that the reject data from inspection could reliably be used to control the process. Visual inspection process improvement is a series of steps leading to more consistent and accurate performance of your inspection process. Using the right tools and approach is critical, as inspection processes are particularly stubborn because you are changing human behaviour and dealing with inspector to inspector variability. The Pareto principle is key to inspection process improvement success. It is easy to fall into the trap of trying to tackle every defect and being successful with none. Conversely, Hitchener used a Pareto analysis of defect counts to focus on just the top six defects instead of all 16, while still addressing 73% of their defect issues. This is especially important in reducing the total project workload because limit samples and inspector training will have to be developed and delivered for each defect. Evaluating and improving inspection processes presents several technical and cultural challenges. Consider the following inspector evaluation of 20 parts where 17 assessments match the correct rating, but two parts were accepted that should have failed, and one part failed that should have passed. Overall, 85% does not seem like a bad score, especially when we consider that everyone sees things a little differently. On the other hand, the inspector will get 50% of the assessments correct just by chance. It is also very common to learn too late in the project that finding the defect in production and evaluating it are two separate tasks to be addressed independently. Confusing or combining them often leads to failure in both objectives. Finally, most projects face the hurdle of the we are doing okay, why don't we just leave it alone logic. Smart design and analysis of your attribute agreement study helps you through some of these problems. Requiring the inspector to evaluate each part three times reduces the pure chance probability from one in two to one in eight. Secondly, Kappa is a test measurement that evaluates agreement in the data independently of the random chance agreement. 50% correct assessments results in a Kappa score of zero. Kappa essentially removes the luck factor from the results. In addition, Kappa can be used to learn more from your study data by measuring agreements in three different ways. Was the inspector consistent within themselves? Did they agree with their fellow inspectors? And did they match the correct rating? Even with these benefits, the operator by part matrix will still be needed to communicate your study results. The operator by part matrix summarizes all data in your study and presents it in a way that is easy to analyze and understand. For example, there are three clear conclusions from our results. First, there are about the same number of rejected good parts as accepted bad parts, red cells versus yellow cells. This is critical to know because the cost of quality for type 1 and type 2 errors can be dramatically different. Secondly, inspectors have the highest error rate on handling, profile and flat defects, specifically at the levels on parts 5, 10, 14 and 15. Better definition of defects at those levels is needed. Finally, three of the inspectors had significantly lower performance and would benefit greatly from additional training. It is important to note that only the individual inspector knows their ID number. Anonymity is key to making the evaluation process work. As a result of the attribute agreement studies, many improvements were implemented. Inspectors had to be certified as a requirement to bid for an inspection position and then were periodically recertified to keep their knowledge fresh. 
Limit samples for all key defects were made available in duplicate at all inspection stations. The overall CAPA score for inspection effectiveness improved from 0.56 to 0.97. And finally, changes were made to the inspection process itself to improve defect visibility and increase the rate of detection of defects. Both quality and production were very pleased with the performance results from the inspection improvement project. Implementation of the new inspection process had its ups and downs and required more than three months to work out the details. But in the end, production throughput more than doubled, defying the common notion that improving inspection effectiveness results in a higher reject rate. Moreover, the true goal of the project was achieved. Reject information from inspection was reliable enough to be used to make real-time process control decisions. If you would like to use visual inspection process improvement to increase your production throughput and data reliability, or if you have any questions about this case study, contact us at JMC Data Experts.